Breaking news. Biden's bold decision. U.S. long-range missiles to strike deep in Russia. A turning point in the Ukraine conflict. Dear friends, today, we find ourselves at a pivotal moment in history. President Joe Biden has authorized a significant shift in U.S. policy, allowing Ukraine to use American-supplied long-range missiles to strike deep into Russian territory. This decision, confirmed by U.S. officials, has marked a dramatic escalation in the ongoing Ukraine-Russia conflict, raising the stakes in ways we must fully understand. The decision permits Ukraine to deploy the Army Tactical Missile Systems, or ATAC-MS, to target Russian and North Korean forces stationed in the Kursk region, a region that has become a strategic focal point in this conflict. This follows Russia's deployment of approximately 10,000 North Korean troops to support its military operations in Ukraine, further internationalizing this war. A move to shift the balance. The Biden administration argues that this decision is necessary to shift the balance on the battlefield, providing Ukraine with a stronger position for potential peace negotiations. But make no mistake, this is a game changer. Over the weekend, Russia launched one of its largest attacks in months, firing 120 missiles and nearly 100 drones, crippling Ukraine's energy infrastructure and leaving its people bracing for a harsh winter. Poland's foreign minister, Radosław Sikorski, praised the move, calling it a response in the only language President Putin understands. Yet, the decision has also sparked widespread debate and concern. Russia has already warned that the use of U.S.-supplied long-range missiles could escalate the conflict to an entirely new level, potentially triggering a global war. Russia's warning and the risk of escalation. Russia's response has been swift and stern. Vladimir Jabarov, deputy head of Russia's Upper House International Affairs Committee, has described this as a big step toward World War III. President Vladimir Putin himself has made it clear. Attacks on Russian territory, especially its major cities, would be viewed as acts of war by NATO, justifying any response including the use of nuclear weapons. Now, imagine for a moment, how would we feel if foreign missiles were striking Washington, D.C. or New York City? The gravity of such an act would push us to retaliate decisively, and Russia sees these actions in the same light. This is not just a geopolitical chess game, it's a gamble with consequences that could engulf the entire world in conflict. A divided response. This decision also comes at a critical time for America. With President-elect Donald Trump preparing to take office in January, many argue that such a monumental decision should have been left to the next administration. Trump has stated his goal to bring the war in Ukraine to a peaceful conclusion. However, this move by Biden raises concerns that the conflict may spiral out of control before Trump has the chance to act. This is why we launched the 77 Days to Take Back America campaign. Today, on day 13, we reflect on courage to face challenges. We pray for boldness, wisdom, and strength to navigate these difficult times. We pray for peace to prevail until leadership transitions and for God's hand to guide us toward a resolution that spares lives and preserves stability. A Biblical Perspective This moment in history echoes the warnings of biblical prophecy. Jesus said in Matthew 24, 6-7, You will hear of wars and rumors of wars, but see to it that you are not alarmed. Such things must happen, but the end is still to come. Nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. The escalation in Ukraine, coupled with growing tensions in the Middle East, mirrors the scenarios described in Ezekiel 38-39, where alliances form, wars rage, and the world moves closer to a climactic resolution. These events remind us of the importance of turning back to God, seeking His wisdom, and standing firm in our faith. The Call to Action We are living in prophetic times, where the decisions made by world leaders carry eternal consequences. As we face these challenges, 
let us unite in prayer, asking God for his protection and guidance. Let us advocate for peace, and may we never lose sight of the hope and assurance we have in him. My books, The Trump Code and Revelation 911, delve deeply into these unfolding events, drawing connections between biblical prophecy, current events, and the urgent need for spiritual preparedness. These works explore the critical issues shaping our world and offer hope and insight during these turbulent times. I encourage you to read them as part of your journey to understanding God's plan and how it intersects with today's headlines. Thank you, and may God bless you, our nation, and all who seek his peace. Dear friends, as we've reflected on the powerful truths today, some of you may feel the Lord calling you into a deeper relationship with Him. Or perhaps this is the first time you've been moved to give your life to Christ. If that's you, I want to invite you to pray this simple prayer of salvation with me. Heavenly Father, I come before you today, confessing that I am a sinner in need of your grace. I believe that Jesus died for my sins and rose again. And I ask you to come into my heart and be the Lord of my life. I turn from my old ways and commit to following you. Fill me with your Holy Spirit, guide me by your word, and help me to live for you each day. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer, I encourage you to take the next step by asking a pastor to baptize you at a local church, making your decision to follow Jesus public. Baptism is a symbol of your commitment to Christ, and it's a powerful declaration of your faith. Also, seek fellowship with other believers so you can grow in your faith and learn more about your new life in Christ. Let's close with a final prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of your word and for speaking to us today. As we leave this moment, help us to keep your truth close to our hearts. Guide our steps, strengthen our faith, and let your light shine through us in a world that so desperately needs it. We pray for your continued blessing on our lives, our families, and our nation. In Jesus' name, amen. As we come to the end, I encourage you to dive deeper into Bible prophecy and Christian living through my best-selling books written by myself or co-authors. These include The Trump Code, Revelation 911, Your Mission in God's Army, The Military Guide to Disarming Deception, The Military Guide to Armageddon, Trumpocalypse, and The Babylon Code. These books will bless you richly, encourage your faith, and provide profound insight into God's hope for your life. You can visit my website at www.troyanderson.us, and I also invite you to explore Prophecy Investigators at www.prophecyinvestigators.com and Revelation Watchers at www.revelationwatchers.com. Lastly, please remember to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Your engagement helps us reach more people with this important message. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Until the next video, may God bless you, keep you, and shine his light upon you.